Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips, and today I want to talk about the tracking IDs within the Amazon Associates account. That really becomes very helpful, especially when you want to track a certain product or you're working with a company and they want to see how sales are going. So you're really going to love to do this, and this is especially going to be helpful for someone that's new to the Amazon Associates program. So what you're going to do is when you log into your account, you're going to come here, you'll see your email address, you're going to come here, manage your tracking IDs, click on that. And when you get there, you are going to see a few things. The first one you'll see is selected tracking ID. What that is, is your current and active tracking ID that you're using when you're creating your links of a product that you're finding. Moving down here, you're going to click add a tracking ID. So if you want to add one, this is where you add it. And then, for example, we'll just call this test. We're going to click create. It will give you ones to choose from. So in this case, we have three different examples. Let's say I pick the middle one. You're going to click use selected. I'm not going to click on that, but that's how you do it. And then it will auto populate into your account, which will be down here. These are my current tracking IDs that I've created. There are people that probably have hundreds of them, and then you could search for the one that you're looking for. And this is really important because, let's just say, like right now, I use reviews. So if I wanted to switch to the Clipper Pro and make that the active one, I'm just going to click on the link. Now you could see here, it is my selected tracking ID. Now, if I go home and I am searching for that product, so I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click Clipper Pro. I'm going to click, you can click go or you can click enter and there it is. And then if I were to click on the arrow, down arrow to find that link, uh, which would create it for me there, you could see it's got the Clipper Pro dash 20 because you'll have your dash and your number uh, that would be in part of the link. And there you go. And then that tracks. Now, this is where it gets cool is in your reporting, which is here. You'll see here, these are the different active ones for the month that people happen to click on on the product that you had created. So if I come here to Clipper Pro, you could see it's got 170 clicks over the past month. Seven have ordered through my link, 17 have ordered other products, and 24, and then the order revenue. And you can click on that the Clipper Pro, and it gives you a more detailed report. This really becomes interesting because not only can you see the products that they ordered of the ones you bought, so you could see they got four of the toenail clipper, three of the fingernail clipper, and then they are other products as well. So that's it. It's really helpful for reporting to seeing how your links are going. And again, just make sure you want to come back here, you can either go back home or just click back here, click your manage your IDs and then change back to the one you use and then you're good to go. So this will be really helpful, especially if you're new and you're looking how to create your tracking IDs and how to help you with your sales and working with companies that you are using to promote their products. Let me know if you have any questions. Really appreciate your time. I'll be sure to share some other helpful tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.